Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this video is uh, all about Valkyrie cam placement. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some of my favorite spots for the most commonly defended objectives. And, of course, explain why I put them there. And otherwise, uh, obviously, I'm going to show what they cover. We're going to start with Clubhouse. And then otherwise, I will move on to House. And we will also cover Oregon. The first cam I like to put in the blue hallway or uh, utility room hall right here uh, because if anybody wants to get that cam, if they even know it's there, they literally have to turn their back toward the objectives down here. One cam that I use occasionally but not all the time is right here in this little nook uh, in the tunnel because it covers obviously the tunnel entrance if anybody wants to push and it's really tough to spot if you set it back in there properly. Now the last cam I like to set up in the kitchen hallway uh, right up on the pipes right here because it covers all of the hallway area and this is a, a spot where people very commonly move slowly so that they can uh, uh, check corners and, and such and I like to set a C4 trap underneath so you can see on these other couple of cams the areas that you can cover and, and uh, how you can play off of those from inside the objective or just from near the objective. This clip is to display a couple of alternate uh, locations for cameras for defending the same objective. Placing a Valkyrie cam in the kitchen is much more common and uh, they're not quite as easy to conceal in the kitchen as opposed to the hallway. Uh, so it's not exactly my favorite. However, if you come against a team that doesn't necessarily do a push down the stairs at central stairs, uh, it can still be useful to help defend that hatch from below with uh, C4 or just generally gather information for your team uh, before you start getting pushed in the objective areas. As we all know, the second most common defended spot is the ground floor uh, bar and stock room. I like to get a cam into the stock room so that you can see what's going on there because it's a really difficult objective to defend from inside. Uh, otherwise, uh, information gathered outside the objective, if you uh, take a cam and you toss it out toward the kennels right here at the beginning of the round, you can do so safely without going outside. And the third cam that I like to place is going to be on the van right outside the garage. If you land it on top of the van rather than on the side of the van, then you can see a huge portion of the front of the building. And you have your view over here of kennels. Hopefully nobody spots that cam, though it's a little more obvious. And stock room is probably the least likely cam to get spotted. Generally what I recommend is you stay off the kennels cam until a little bit later in the round. Secure the area, keep the bombs protected. Next up, gym bedroom. We're gonna blow a hole in the corner up here and toss a cam right into it. If you pop out the gym window at the beginning of the round and toss a cam right out onto the top of the van, you can do so without getting detected so they won't necessarily know that there's a cam there. And otherwise, if you put a cam up in Central Stairs Hallway again, then you can see on each of the three cams that you have a really big view of the area surrounding the objectives and the objectives themselves. For the cash server objective, we're going to do the same thing that we did over in the bedroom. Make a hole in the corner, toss a cam up into it. Five seconds. I like to use the same kennels cam that we did earlier to cover that side of the objective. And the other can that I like to use is outside above the garage on the green water tower because it gives you a huge view of most of the map. Moving on to the map organ and the objective is basement defense. Uh, you can see that I just threw a cam onto the tire of the van up front. That's usually really good concealment for that cam. Otherwise, I like to put one on the projector in the meeting hall to see if anybody's trying to attack hatches. Well, it might be a better idea to actually use Mira instead of Valkyrie. I feel like it's a good idea to cover the secret tunnel entrance with a cam as well. All of the meeting hall is visible from this cam. And out front, you can see that you have a discreet but thorough view of the hatch and the lobby area in the front of the house. Dorms is our number two spot and we'll blow a hole in the wall just like we did in the last map between kids and dorms main hall. Five seconds and counting. We're then gonna do the same thing in master bedroom to the hallway from the main lobby. 
and then pop out of dining hall quarter so that we can throw a cam out onto the light post on the other side of the school bus without getting detected. So you can see that rather than using the top of the school bus as your typical uh, outside cam spot here, we're just a little further out. You can still see the same things. Here you can see the approach from Armory Locker or the uh, front lobby, and you have your view of the two objective rooms. Active. All right, so I'm not going to bother with the tower objective. Let's be real about it. Nobody ever does that. One cam can go into small tower here. Keep an eye out for Op 4 attempting to defuse your bombs. The same cam in main hall can go up on the projector again. And while it may be a good idea to have a cam inside covering above the objective, I prefer to get one outside and throw it on this table where there's a bunch of clutter and it's less likely to be spotted. Here you have a view of a lot of this area. And otherwise, of course, you have the main hall covered. And small tower if a push happens from that side. Moving on to house, upstairs, probably the most commonly defended spot anymore. I like to put one cam up above the bookcase in the hallway. You'll see why in a moment. Another cam we're going to take and we're going to throw out to the lattice work out near the APC spawn. And otherwise, to pull this off in a timely manner, have a buddy on your team pull that window down in the construction area so you can throw this cam onto the tree. This covers all of the front of the house, even though it's partially obstructed by the tree. Otherwise, you can see all the lattice work, all of the back of the house. And inside, you have a view of the triple window, the construction area, the front balcony, and you can see into master and the bathroom. The second most commonly defended spot, of course, on house is the basement, uh, training room, and garage. So, if you place a cam up here in the corner next to the dartboard in the pool room and shoot out the floor like I did, one in the main lobby as such, and here, pop out just real quick, toss one up here to the gutter, you will get detected unless you're super quick. Then you have an excellent view of the garage area in the main lobby upstairs and bathroom. And here, because you blew the floor out, you can see into the trench as well as the pool room. And if anybody tries to enter either, you have eyes on. Secure the bombs. So this brings us to the last pair of defense sites. Uh, split, we have training room and pool. I like to put one on the garage door opener because it's nice and dark and people aren't gonna look directly at that for any good reason whatsoever. Otherwise, this cam by the dartboard and the floor blown out is a good setup. And if you pop out just for a sec by the treehouse and look up to the right, you have a, uh, an AC unit by the construction wall, which gives you a fantastic view of that entire side of the house. The walls into the objective area in the garage are covered, and then some. And otherwise, of course, we have this pool room cam again. If you'd like to see another video of Valkyrie cam spots that myself and my team have had great success with, such as this one here, and how to throw those cams out, then uh, leave a comment in chat and let me know.